All right, welcome back, everyone. We are on episode twelve of John and Eric's ep John and Eric's epic adventures around Skyrim. So, in the last episode, we just became the Thane of Falkreath, is where we are, right here down in Falkreath. What we're going to be doing today is continuing up this road here, passing through Helgen, um, probably taking on Orphan Rock. We'll probably do Orphan Rock first. Well, why don't we see what's in Greywater Grotto and clear this out? So this is for the companions. We kind of have to do that one way or another. We're going to bring our steward with us because I've I've been thinking a lot about how to deal with getting a third form. It kind of it makes us a little overpowered, being what are we now level 17, 18, I think. And I don't want to be, I don't want to build this passive party. We're going to be limiting ourselves to followers. But I think one of the limitations we're going to impose is that the, the house Carl that we have will be limited to assisting us within that hole. So, for example, because our house Carl is from Falkreath, they can assist us here and then here in Orphan Rock. But... And unfortunately, we don't have the edges of the hold of Falkry. But, for example, they wouldn't help us and go and take Fort Greymore here, because that's in White Run. And why would they assist us in making White Run safer? That doesn't really make any sense, right? Their business is to assist Falkry. That's their job, and to protect Falkry. And when they're not protecting us, protecting Falkry, they're protecting the Arl, runs Falkry. So, that's the. Uh, that's the story that I'm sticking with. So we'll go up top. Well, yeah, I think her name is Rhea. Is that right? Rhea. Long life to you, Thane. Uh, follow me. I need your help. Lead on, Thane. My blade is always yours to command. So she has a few spells, which is pretty cool. Uh, we discovered that last night. Ooh. All right. Onward. Oh, we probably should. That's famous last words, right? So we're looking for the path to Helgen. This one. Helgen is this one. Yeah, this is what. <laughs> what are y'all doing? Is she flying? Dang, girl! That is some high-quality magic. Oh, okay. They've they've already sprung the trap. So that's always a good sign. Um, we're gonna do a quick save in case. Oh crap! We need a uh, healing. No, screw it. We're just gonna go anyway. There's only like two enemies here. Oh, okay. I guess. How do I get up there? Is it up here, I'm guessing? Oof! You know, do a quick search, take that. Um, good. Well, that was sprint- <laughs> That was while sprinting too, and so that we took a crap load of damage out of that because uh, while while doing a bull rush, your uh, damage taken is significantly reduced. So apparently not reduced that much. Take the hide bodies, and at some point we're gonna need more leather strips. So these two. I think that does it. The only thing I want to do is... Oh, oh, glass arrows. Very nice. What do we got here? What's this? I don't know. What type of book that was? And then a ruined book. Some Nordmead. I want to clear away a couple of these. I don't know if there's any way that we can kind of... Yeah, can we just, like... Knock them out of the way. 
I don't think we're going to be able to. I'm going to do a quick save and try and kick it out of the way, but... So... Okay, that's not too bad. It seems to be working. It's just a random thing that somebody built to piss us off. But it's clear now. And look with the... Uh, this. It's like a, a confirmed location. I don't know. <laughs> um, oops. Oops. Here, hold on. There's a nerd root over here. Oh, and some mud crabs, but. Under attack? I don't think so. You just pick these up. No, you do have to like attack them in order to pick them up. What? Eric only makes that sound when like someone dies, right? Where's Rhea? Uh oh. Yeah, where is she? Where's my house, Carl? I don't really know how to like call for her. Is that a freaking bear just on the side of the road? Whoa! No, she's dead? How did she die? Is she like immune to damage? What the hell happened? When's our last load point? I'm a little bit confused. Were we, like, I didn't even hear a bear. Well, that sucks. Okay, I guess, I guess our house Carl's dead. Even give her like a proper burial. Damn. What armor does she have? Oh, it's like a Falkreath guard? That doesn't seem right. Oh, I guess it is Falkreath. It's oh. too bad. I need to break something down. Um, my inventory is too much. Eric, come here, I need your help. It just feels right somehow. Sure thing. I didn't realize that she could be uh, killed like that. Is there anything else you need? Damn. Because when Eric res Eric only responds like that when you die. So I guess she couldn't take on a bear. Like, I didn't even hear a bear. I'm not gonna reload, because that's what happened. Hmm. Seems a little bit strange to me. I, maybe it's she wasn't able to, like, fight it. Right? Here, we're just gonna keep going. She was, like, flying or bugged out. I don't know. I have no idea. She didn't really seem like the type of person that would just kind of drop dead, right? Who the heck are you? Take this and hold on to it. I'll be back oh. later. I'll pay you good. Don't lose it. Uh... No time to talk. Snitch or double cross me, and I'll kill you. I need it. 
Manacarp and friends, welcome. How are you guys doing? This guy just handed us, what did he hand us? Scaled boots of waning shock. Not bad. So. Oh God. Now my horses are going crazy. Did you see someone run past just now? Yeah, I presume these yes. are yours. I'm going to track down that thief. Yeah, I think he's right there. The yeah, I got him for you. Must have lost. <laughs> thank you all so much for following. Mama, thank you for following. I uh, can't believe you was, weren't following. So let's see, what do we got? A couple of good things here. We're taking all of the first stuff to uh, to break down later, but I'm, I'm missing all your follows. I'm realizing that Stream Elements isn't sharing it in chat, and that's why I've been missing a few. I apologize if I missed everything. Oh, I have them here. Um, Satari, who else do we got? Uh, MVL, we also have Cyro. Thank you guys so much for following. We, so we started out the day with, oh my god, where are my horses? We started the day off with, and the, uh, the Unforgiven, thank you for following as well. We started the day off with our, what is it, um, House Carl from Falkreath, who immediately died on the way here. Like, we, we made it this far. We made it to Pine Watch, and she was mauled to death by a bear. And, like, I was killing a mud crab, and I wasn't even aware she was under attack. So, because I heard combat music, and I was like, oh, it must be a mud crab. No, nope, it was a bear. So, that was very unfortunate. Uh, we already cleared out uh, Helgen here, so we're just going to be passing through a little bit to the best of our ability. So now it's just down to the two of us, right? Uh oh. Here, Eric. Come on through. There we go. Uh, let's see. It was snoozing in Mama's stream. Well, ah, come on, come on. There we go. Made it through. Um, I think we have to go left this way, right? It's a uh, Rhea. That is correct. So Rhea was our house Carl that we got at on the last stream, and then she died like ten minutes in, and it was like. Okay, all right, that's fine. It's fine, I don't need a house Carl, right? I am a little bit confused that she wasn't marked as essential as a follower, right? That that really threw me off. So I think this is it. God, is this really it? It's so dark. This can't really be the path. This is the path that's so dark and spooky. Wet Leaf, thank you for following. Oh, we're also missing a horse. Well, let's, uh, here, we're gonna manage horses. So we have Queen Elsiger and then Happy, so we're gonna whistle for other horse, and she, she should be coming up here. Yep, Thana Falkreath. It, it kind of happened by accident. Um, all right, we're going in. Um, so what do we take, right? We, let's see, we're definitely going to need our beef stew now. We are definitely, definitely. Rooney's journal or do the Hurstine quest? No, apparently not. Um, we got called in. We did like a, uh, some business dealings for the Thane. And then he said we had to help three people. And I mean, just, just like selling firewood and collecting crops, good enough. And then did like another smaller quest. So we are, oh, it's uh, two, here we go. So we're very quickly here gonna give Eric a healing aura because that will prevent, or it'll, oh my God, why, why does somebody see me? Oh, oh, oh. Now my sneak went up, why did my sneak go up? 
boost, steel helmet. I haven't uh, fixed the, the favoriting of those yet. Amulet of Kinnereth. Oh, okay, stay hidden. And then we are probably going to want to take what? Uh, we could just kind of bull rush in if we took this. We're going to do a quick F5. I'm kind of sad I don't have a healing aura on me. Uh, it's incredible. The whole time I thought, help people, men put myself in harm's way. <laughs> no, that's what we're about to do now. We're getting um, Metal, Metal Bane, right? To do the White Run Gilder Gleam quest. <sighs> okay. Um, Eric doesn't have right a healing Robert, potion on how him. How can I help? Oh my god, why was our horse moving away? We're gonna give him a like a good one. Because he uses all of them at once. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Ah! Alright. That's one of them down. Eric, how you doing? So we uh I guess we'll start with a search, right? Uh we'll take the cloak. That's really the only thing. So we're using Winter Sun. Oh, this is because we're playing on permadeath. Uh, Rena, welcome. We're playing on permadeath, and this allows us to kind of stand back up if we're knocked down, but we have to follow RK, and we're not allowed to steal, and if we kill any innocent people, we're, we're pretty fucked. So, now what is, um, it's shift, right? Oh, no, no, not shift. Um, alt. That allows us to see things, but I don't think it allows us to see people. God, we are walking in blind here, man. We're sneaking in heavy armor. We also have to be careful of uh, runes. All right, we're going to go up and around, stay near the cliffs. So far, so good. Rising. All right. See so campfire. Right about now would be a good time to F5. And I, I say, you know what our plan's gonna be, everyone? Half the battle is uh, quite literally the environment. Yeah, because it's so dark. We walked up and it was like. So what we're gonna do? Here's the strategy. We're gonna do a Ghostbuster strategy. Okay. So. Y'all remember the first Ghostbusters movie? We're gonna take our potion. Get her! <laughs> We're running in. You're on fire! Nice. Oh, that went pretty good. <laughs> oh, look, she has a uh, glass dagger. Nice. Yeah. Get her! Ah! Iron dagger, boo. <sighs> Works every time. I had no idea how that was going to go. So we'll get Nettlebane in a moment. Um, we should probably go take out all of the uh, the witches, but... We didn't even need that potion. No, trust me, if, if, the, uh, if she had hit us with one of those fireballs as we were crossing that bridge, we definitely would have needed that potion. Ah, come on. I'm glad we took it. Kinda sad we don't have more than them than that, but what we got? Daedric dagger for the Atronach Forge recipe. What? Where is that? Uh where oh I'm like where's the recipe? Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, fair enough. There's probably a way to translate it, maybe. Oh my god, see those uh, those runes down there? If we step on one of those, we are... 
Hmm. <laughs> ah. <laughs> 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 oh. Eric. <laughs> what are you doing, bro? <sighs> Let's bring in here. We can uh harvest some of the ingredients there. Chorus eggs, Hagraven feathers, and nettle band. Two thousand gold. Bad. Skulls. Yeah. Shade. What do we got here? Ruby? Anything like good? Death Bell, Lesser Soul Gem. Hmm. I think there's anything else over here. Then some nice shade. Yeah. Are there any, uh, there, I know there are ingredients that we have to learn here, so I'm gonna quickly do with that. Save us some inventory space here. A little bit of inventory space. That. Apprentice, we should be able to bust through this pretty easily. Um, Rena, thank you very much for following. Lower? Oh, higher. Well, there there were rune traps down there, but uh, Eric, Eric took them out for us. A bro. Eric, you okay? Are are there still any down there? Like, so so here's what I see, right? Is this tap root here? Oh, I want that tap root, and I want to see what that uh, person had. But I'm terrified that we're gonna frickin' die if we go down there. So I don't think we're gonna f with this. That just doesn't seem like a good idea to me. We're gonna head out. I know where there's some other loot. See, there's another one of the runes. So maybe... Maybe we are okay, actually, because they're kind of obvious. There have been a few problems with... Oh, look, some Hagraven feathers. There have been known problems with these runes not properly showing up. Does our character have a backstory? Yes, so their name is John Rorickson. They grew up in Rorickstead uh, as an orphan, so they don't know who their parents are. And they're best buds with Eric here. And so it's John and Eric on an adventure to rid Skyrim of evil. And they're, they focus primarily on Whiterun to start, but now they're uh, going everywhere. Continue branching out, I guess you could say. We're now on episode 12. We made some good progress. Oh, yeah, it's a pile of remains. Um, so our horses are safe, so that's pretty good. That went way better than expected overall. So where's the other horse? Thought I... Oh, yeah, it's right there. Okay, so. So now we're gonna head back, and oh, uh, yeah. Why don't we check out Clearwater Grotto here? So we're going to take the other path down there and just see what's inside. What could possibly go wrong, right? Eric, come on, horse. This looks slightly like a path. Up. Oh, come on, get off the horse, get off the horse. Ah, that was too far away. Whew. All right, let's draw some of its blood. And we could harvest some of the ingredients, but we might start freezing to death. So, oh, we are so close. But where, like, where is it? Oh, oh, we found it. All right, we have bones. 
Anything that might be able to help us here? Yeah, we did find it. Nice. Do have any vampires? Not so much. I was like, I, I hear my horse. Um, wait here. And we have to call our other horse, because if, if we don't, we're gonna... I'm afraid that our horse is gonna, like, freeze to death or something. And we're just gonna go inside. We'll, hopefully we'll find them when they leave, right? So we are prepared to turn around and just hightail it completely out of here. We don't know what we're gonna do. Right, we have a dead elk. I don't think I like where this is going. Bye, Eric. Doesn't help that with a two-handed weapon, we can't use a, uh, like a torch or anything. Very, very quiet. What the fuck is that? Ice wraiths? Over here. We can take out an ice wraith. Eric, you missed. Alright. Take all that. I'm looking around here like... Run to more. We might take that. Um. Oh. No, it's just a... Oh! Whoa, oh, okay. That, luckily it didn't detect that as, uh, as water, right? How many hours do you have in Requiem? Honestly, not that many. Like, not a not as many as other people do. I still consider myself a novice. Wolves? Here. What? What the hell was that? They're not hitting. I don't want to know what's up with that. If I'd known we were kill killing wolves, I would have been a little bit more chill about coming in here, right? Wow, look at this place. That was it, huh? Some wolves. Oh. Sorry, Agatha. Sucks to suck. <laughs> Eaten by wolves? Hey, gold. Okay. What we got here? Hmm. I'll be honest. I was expecting more. Tusks. I hear the wolves, right? That we could uh, we could harvest the ingredients out of. And it's 7 p.m. I think what we'll do is we'll. Whoa! If I die tripping on a bone, right like, imagine sure how ridiculous loose. that would be. We'll grab our uh, our going. pick. Or, we'll harvest these out because we could use it. Yes, this was a companion's uh, cave clear out, so I decided to take it, but I really had no idea what to expect. Is it is it bugged? I think this is bugged. All right, one more time. This time with feeling. There we go. Uh, not getting any gold. Aren't we getting any gold? Okay, no gems. And I'm over and covered. At first I thought I'd admit what That's do you want me okay. to carry? Hey, everything, Eric. I need you to carry everything. Here, take that. Um It's pretty nice. We're gonna hold on to the pick. Take all the cloaks. 
I take the cloaks because they have the best weight to value ratio. Now that we have horses, that doesn't really matter. But old habits die hard. Let me know if you need anything. Oh, tripping on the bones again. Nice place. We could harvest them. I don't think we will. Honestly, I'd rather go up and harvest from that, uh... Oh, look at this. Who's this person? I don't know, but... Have your fur cloaks now. <laughs> here, we're gonna camp out here next to the dead bodies. And, uh, let's see. You... Get a fur tent going. Right. Get a fire going. It's, uh, what is it? This one? Right about there should be good. Right. You just prepare? Yeah. Ah, uh, light it. We need more XP in this, so that's why I was like, let's go. Spooky Helgen noises. Um, and then... Oh, we need kindling, I was like... And we just upgrade it all the way. Oh. Looks super cozy. Oh. <laughs> pet the horse. Oh, uh, we don't have time to pet the horse. We have these mud crabs that I forgot about that we have to clean. How could I, right? Got a bunch of mug crabs on the horse. I grabbed these last episode to um, use for our potion. What's the ingredients? Looks like only about 30 minutes pass. Oh, we got a pearl. Wow. Pretty cool. So it should take probably an hour each for the other two, I bet. Where's, this, where's the other one? Eat the meat? Yeah. It's it's almost not worth harvesting from. <clears throat> I mean, that's my opinion. I'm patched. From Boston, so, so wicked patched. Clean it. And by the time we finish this, it should be about 11. Perfect. For us to head back down to fight. Ooh, a pearl eats it. Hmm, yes. Fire salts. Uh. Consume the fire salts. Absorb its power. We'll do eight hours. Be good. Wake up at 7 a.m. <clears throat> On a super dark, dreary day. What the hell, man? Uh, we're gonna sleep one more hour. Kind of helped. A little bit. The fire is the brightest thing here. I am ravenously hungry. Why don't we fix that? An apple pie, a loaf of bread, water. Water, because I probably need it. Alright, pack it up. Pack it up, move it out. All right, uh, so we are turning in Nettlebane, but first, first let's go pray, right? That's gonna be our first thing. Is our, uh, our buffs, about hey, look at that. Dog beard, buffs about to wear off.
we have anything like really valuable or expensive to sell? You and me. <laughs> you okay there, bro? Look. We could buy his amulet of RK, which is more expensive than the other ones, which is kind of interesting. Be nice. Hell undead. Level nine. It was a pleasure. Brother Anders? Yes? I think we need more light in here. Maybe. Candles are expensive. No more light. Maybe open open the doors. But that would probably be too much, right? The number of items that are found within like the game would be All right, so we are here in the temple. Have a long here to worship beneath its branches. It was taken by a lightning strike. Wish I had time to deal with it, but it's hard enough with all these wounded from the war. The coin always greases the wheel. So just let it stay like this. It's disgraceful. I really don't have time to deal with you right now. Please just let me get back to my work. But this is supposed to be your work. <laughs> this is your work. It's like at the DMV. So, have you got a nettle bane back from those filthy hag ravens yet? Yeah, I got it. Oh, I. Well, I honestly didn't expect you to come back. Neither did we. So you did. Now, I don't really want to touch that thing, though. Do you think you could handle the next steps? Uh, probably. Hopefully. Elder Gleam Sanctuary Grove is to the east of here. You can use nettle bane to retrieve some of its sap. Was I correct in hearing that you were traveling to the grove of the Elder Green? Oh, yeah. Was I correct in hearing that you were traveling? Yeah, to... I am a traveler, a pilgrim. I follow the voice of Kinnereth wherever it can be heard. I've dreamed of seeing Elder Green for years. Might I travel alongside you? I promise not to get in the way. You're welcome to join. I thank you for your kindness. So this means that we're going to be traveling on foot, because getting too far ahead of our new companion here will be dangerous. Uh, we're gonna. I wish you could put armor on them, right? He'll die. Might. And it's raining. Actually, <laughs> we're gonna turn in our other companions' quest here, and we're gonna try and grab a new one. Um, where is she? Yeah, she is there. For some reason, it wasn't showing the quest marker, so I was a little bit uh. Yeah, there it is. We were just too far away. Hope he's okay with uh, us running some some errands. Yeah, it looks like he's fine with it. I've heard you may actually be stronger than. Peace or dead. Not bad. Not bad. The intensity of the hunt is special, isn't it? Gunner gold. Nice. Looking for work. Of the pale. Has asked pale. Help. I don't remember which seems that a which hold is the pale. To be completely honest. Um, I mean, if we're headed east, I'd love to get a job on the rift. Where is everybody? They must be outside training. Then we'll just continue into the east. Yep. No? Where's everyone? Alright, well, I guess we're not picking up a new quest. I don't know where they are. Here, we're coming up to a keep. Now, sometimes there's mages in this keep, and sometimes they patrol the roads, and sometimes. Let's see. Where's our follower? Where's our follower? Maurice! Maurice! Where is Maurice? Where did he go? What the heck? Okay. Whoa. Oh. All right. 
Come on, Maurice. <laughs> oh, who's that? Who is that? Chad, who is that on the road? Who is that? I don't like the look of this. We're going up. We're going up and around. You guys make it up and around. No berries. Kind of random. Lost knife hideout. Uh, yeah, we kind of have to go around this way. We're gonna stay hidden in the brush. Everybody with me? Alright. Good job, Reese. Stay down. Stay hidden. Oh, see, look, it is a mage. That's close enough. Should I try taking them out? That's close enough. No. We'll take them out on the way back. Handle that like a pro, huh? We can fight them on the way back, but we're delivering a... Uh, pedestrian here. That was one of the biggest concerns that we had, was making sure that we could get past this keep. Oh, okay. Tech tree spawning in. Quick save. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> We're okay. We're okay. We're all okay. Oh, oh, um. The mercy of Stendar does not extend to Daedra worshippers. The vampire that was terrorizing Falkbeath is dead. We killed it. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Well, technically the guards killed it, but we claimed the reward. Uh, so what do you got? What do we got? Scrolls of fast healing, cure disease, an amulet of Devella. Scroll of paralyze. What's that worth? 150, nice. Uh, amulet of Debella. <laughs> we, we can actually use that for 15% um, better prices. It's better than an amulet of Zenithar. So we're gonna drop our amulet of Zenithar or sell it. Oh my goodness. Once we get across this bridge, we're, we're pretty much home free. Did it? We made it to dark water crossing with Maurice. Not dead. That is excellent. Get back here. All right. Hey, there he is. Ooh. Butterfly hat. Good choice. Good choice. Very good choice. All right, so we killed those stupid wolves. We had uh, one of our community members redeem a butterfly hat. Did I just hear a dragon in game? 
Eric, come here. I want you to grab this bunny. It's our bunny now. Whoa! Quick, end of the sanctuary! Everybody into the sanctuary! Oh. All right. Well, we'll uh, we'll deal with them in a moment, right? We'll deal with the dragon in a moment. Oh, it's dark. Ow. Ooh. Hello there, friend. Come to enjoy the sights and sounds of this beautiful sanctuary. I have truly remarkable. Yeah, it's pretty dope. Ah. Who are you? Welcome to Elder Green Sanctuary, my friend. If you have any questions, speak to Asta. Alright, where's Asta? I think this is her, right? And there it is. How deep is this cave? The Elder Gleam. They say the college has been snooping around Sartal. Mages in the burial clip. No good can come of that. You are in Elder Gleam Sanctuary. Yes, where are Just we? Just a small glimpse of what beauty Kinneret has to offer. Wonderful place, isn't it? Uh, that's the Elder Gleam up there, right? Friend. Though no one has been able to get close to her for as long as I can remember. Hmm. Why? As you can see, Elder Gleam's roots are large and stretch far, blocking any path to her trunk. I Though, can't look up. Believe it or not, there are rumors of a weapon that even Elder Gleam herself would lift her roots for. More out of fear than respect. You mean this weapon? The rumors were true. I beg of you, don't harm the tree. Nothing good can come of it. Hmm. Okay. Noted. Right? So we'll walk up the path here. See what we get. So it looks like we will need this. All right, here we go. Bad. It's pretty simple. He is. On Elder Gleam. It's, uh, our follower buddy. I had no idea you were a man of violence. Here we go. What exactly are your intentions? You, in you had no idea I was a man of violence. Uh. I need sap to fix the Gilder Gleam. You would violate this marvel of Kinneret's glory to fix that half-breed stump in Whiterun? <laughs> That's abominable. Barbaric! I'll have no part of this. Why didn't you tell me what you intended? Um, do you have a better idea? No. Yes. There is something. It won't repair the tree back at the temple, but we could bring them a new one. Uh, she was very insistent versus, okay, what do you have in mind? Follow me. I think I can convince the tree to help us. Eric. Don't interrupt the man. It's like it was in my dreams. Uh, until next time. Man has a crazy idea. The Elder Gleam has blessed us with a sapling. 
You should take it to White oh. Run. Danica will want to see that the true blessings of nature lie in renewal, not a slavish maintenance. Uh, what will you do now? I believe I'll stay here and bask in Elder Gleam's warmth a bit longer. Good luck on your travels. May Kinnereth's wind carry only the sweetest scents. I can almost hear its heart. Cool. Thank you. Excellent. Uh, until next time. Cave up ahead. Trouble. Or maybe treasure. Oh, yeah. Hey, hidden. Get higher. Is it attacking something? Whoa! Yeah, it's attacking us! Oh! Ah! Eric! Eric! Oh, oh, oh! Run! Whoa! Whoa, 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 Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Remarkable, remarkable. Is that gonna be enough? Hold on. Superlative full heal. need oh probably probably another uh i don't know oh <laughs> probably another superlative just right off what do we do it's level 50 we need more stamina Over there. Okay, we definitely can't get hit by those. Where is it? It's attacking something over there. I don't know what it is, but... Oh, it sees me. Did we make it in? Let's see if we made it in. <laughs> we did. I don't know what happened to our weapon though. Oh. Head back out. We managed to take cover successfully. Oh no, it broke my bow. Right? Yeah, it broke my bow. <laughs> we didn't have a weapon. You guys are all just chilling. I don't hear anything. I 
kind of like that bow, too. It's quiet. Too quiet. Is it gone? I think it might be gone. Okay. Now, is this the actual entrance to the, uh... Bargain goods store, or is it down here? I'm trying to figure out where it is. I guess we don't have a bow. Oh, okay. Well, we used up two of our superlative potions. Which is a bummer. But we're not dead. And we have an Elder Gleam sapling. Well, I guess we'll continue on. Will you? You want something from me? Yeah, it must have flown away after we ran into the mine. So what we'll do is we'll uh, skip forward for our return to White Run, because I don't I don't think we're going to be encountering anything as crazy as that, right? All right, we are back in Whiterun. Uh, we we did a little rush in with the mages. We managed to, to kill one of them, actually. We, and we picked up a few of uh, these like weird things. I don't really know what you, what you call them here that will sell. But we are going to turn in the sapling and that will be that. And we'll see what happens with the tree. I don't know if it'll reset pretty much immediately, or... You have the Elder Gleam sap. I have a sapling. But I can't run the temple without the support of people who are inspired by the Gilder Gleam. How can this little tree bring new worshippers? It's not my problem. <laughs> yeah, that's an option. It's not my problem. Uh, renewal is more important than maintenance. I... You're right, of course. It can be hard to hear the winds of Kinareth when all you hear are the rabble in the temple. Death feeds new life. I'm sure that in time, this little sapling will grow into a new Gildegreen that will tower over White Run. Thank you. Uh, now we can get training in restoration magic, too. I can gladly too, share my knowledge with you. Which is most excellent. And the very last thing that we'll do is we're, we're going to do a quick test of this. Because I'm pretty sure it updates almost immediately. There's no, like, ceremony or anything. It's kind of sad, but... We're gonna do a quick test, which is... And this is, like, a known bug within Skyrim, is that... This tree... If you disable it... No. I don't think there's any way actually delete it and, and you can't disable it kind of weird why can't you disable it you can disable literally anything like I can disable this bench so why can't you disable the tree weird well Thank you all very much for joining me on this episode. I'll look into that a little bit more, figure it out. Uh, we managed to complete the Gilder Queen quest, and I believe that's one of the steps to becoming Thane of White Run Bolt. So I'll look more into that as well. Thank you all very much for joining me tonight. Have a good night.